told you about a house fire here in Lexington. No one was home at the time, but two dogs were killed. That family's house has been deemed a total loss. And now, as WKYT's Alyssa Williams shows us, their neighbors are coming together to help that family get back on their feet. When somebody goes through a sudden tragedy, that's when we see neighbors helping neighbors. And that's exactly what's happening here in the Kingsbury Road and Marblehead Drive area of Lexington. Uh, we want to be a place for, for people to come during those times. It was June 15th when the home of Josh DeBoard, Micah Coley, and their son Zeppelin went up in flames. Luckily, no one was home, but they lost two dogs, most of their belongings, and now their home is unlivable. We can say to Josh and Micah, hey, we hope that, you know, God provides or we hope that um, you guys get what you need. But what are we doing to help? Chelsea Applegate lives down the street from the family with her husband, Bryant, who is the pastor for Forge City Church here in Lexington. On Saturday, the Applegates, along with other members of the church, hosted a benefit in Josh, Micah and Zeppelin's honor, collecting donations for the items they need. We couldn't imagine not doing anything. Like two things I feel like the Lord is really highlighting is the faith into action and then community and unity. Jimmy Collins lives three houses down from DeBoard and Coley. He says it's amazing seeing how the community is stepping up to help one of their own. I think the world needs more of that. You know, uh, love is the key. The family was unable to stop by the event or give an interview, but the Applegates say they are in good spirits, and Coley says she's grateful for this help. I think she's told me she loves us like 10 times, and it's like, we, we love you. You know, this is, what, this is what the church should be doing. The Applegates say they hope they're embodying what it truly means to be the hands and feet of Jesus. In Lexington, Alyssa Williams, WKYT. The Applegates say Forge City Church has not yet launched, but they hope this is a testament to how willing they are to serve their community. If you missed out on the benefit today, we'll have more on how you can help this family in our WKYT News app.